I was always involved in, um, and they, they don't do that on, on do this on the East Coast, but in Texas, we had what they call speech tournaments. So the same way that you go to a basketball tournament, the NCAA is just passed by this. So the same way that you would go to a tournament to play basketball or play tennis, we had speech tournaments in Houston. So on the weekends, when my friends were playing basketball, I was going to speech tournaments and I did oratory, I did poetry, uh, writing uh, and reading. And so I was always projecting myself. Um, the other thing is that, uh, I, I think I said my mother was an artist. My mother was a high school speech and drama teacher um, and always um, had, a, uh, had a theater company that was external um, to, um, to Phyllis Wheatley High School where she taught. And my sister and I both were a member of her theater company. So I actually did um, uh, plays and I guess it would have been from ninth to 12th grade in the theater company that my mother had. Um, and so the skills that I learned as a stage actor, um, I use every day when I'm making presentations, when I'm sitting here being interviewed by you, um, when I was a trial lawyer. For 28 years, I practiced law and for the last uh, 13 of those years, I was an active trial lawyer. I was trying cases mostly in federal court. Um, and the skills that I learned as a young kid, uh, either being on the stage or doing the speech tournaments, I use every single day and still continue to use them because I make a lot of presentations um, and, I, and I have a lot of occasions to talk to the press still. So this is one lesson for them. The things that you're doing now, you're going to be able to use those as you get to be an adult and grow up. <laughs>